You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. This is Phenomenon Serendipity, and here we have more chapters. Here we go. Boy, was Jean really having a bit of a hard time lately. It wasn't Aaron, and it wasn't the Titans. He was searching all over for Lola with the help from Marlo and Hitch. But it looked like Jean wasn't having any luck. Luckily, people who cared about Lola, Mira Jane and her brother, Elfman, and her sister Lazana were looking for her. Finally, they came over and said they found her. She's downstairs in some abandoned building right down the basement. Jean was grateful, and then he went down to see what was going on. Earlier before, Effie and Shadow were just playing, but then they came across Lola, who looked so upset. Effie felt bad. She hated seeing people so angry or upset or sad. Then she had an idea. She ran over, and then she found the person she was looking for. Jean! Effie said. She ran over to Jean. Jean was surprised to see her. Oh, hey, <laughs> it's good to see you, Jean said. Effie stopped and looked up at him. Can I ask you a favor? Effie asked. Jean looked at Effie with confusion. Jean could not believe what Effie was saying. Wait a second. You want me to take Lola out to the city? This city here? Jean asked. Yes. I mean, could you do that? I know you're a nice guy. Please? Effie asked. Jean was so unsure. I don't know. This girl's been through a hard time, and she has issues with dealing with people. I'm not sure if she wants to warm up to me, John said. Please, John. She looks so sad. I hate seeing people so sad, Effie said. John could see that Effie's baby blue eyes were sparkling a little. Then Jean sighed. All right, all right, I'll do it, he said. Effie was so happy. Yay! Effie cheered. She jumped up and kissed Jean on the cheek. <laughs> You're my hero! All right, tell me what happened. And she ran off. Jean managed to found Lola reading while she was by the computer. Jean came over. Lola felt a shadow and she gasped in horror. She closed her book. Oh, um, hi there, she said. Well, hello, um, what are you doing? Jean said. Nothing, just, uh, reading a book on psychology. <laughs> it's pretty much of a psychobabble book. Lola said. Jean nodded. Well, that's that's interesting, Jean said. Lola looked really uncomfortable. Then there was an awkward silence. And then Jean said, So how are you? He asked. Okay, I guess, Lola said. Then Jean suddenly crossed his arms a little bit, nodded, then he looked dazed, and then he smiled. <laughs> wow, I never knew they had a big building like that. Tall towers. It must be really nice. Maybe, would you like to go see it with me? Jean asked. Lola looked up, startled. Excuse me? Lola asked, would you like to see the sights? I mean, 
all looks so beautiful. It's just different than... What? Wait! Jean could see that Lola was getting up and walking away, fast on her feet. Jean managed to catch up. Hold on! Wait! Jean called out. He managed to grab Lola's arm. Lola, he said. Lola slapped his hand away. Stop it, she said. Then she realized what she said, and then she replied, saying, Please. I, I don't like being tricked, Lola said. I'm not trying to trick you, honest. I just want to see the sights with you. Why don't you go with someone else? You know, I heard Mikasa is available. Maybe you should ask her. Lola said. She turned and she walked away. Jean was really upset about this. Effie asked how did it go, but Jean was too ashamed to admit. Lorraine had heard about this from Lola that Jean had asked her out. So Lorraine confronted John, but John simply said that he just only wanted to do something nice for Lola. Lorraine listened. She nodded and said, All right, I'm going to give you a chance to try and ask her again. If she says no, then leave her be. John nodded and understood. He confronted Lola once again, greeting her. Lola was not amused. What do you want from me? Listen, you're a nice guy, all right? But I can't. I, I just can't, she said. Are you too ashamed of something? Jean asked. What? What do you mean? Jean just shrugged. I don't know. I've been noticing it lately, but you're different from the people I've seen. I mean, look at you. You're upset, angry. You keep thinking that maybe you're the only one and you're being selfish about it. But then tragedy hurts you. Something bad happens, and it changes your life, and you're never the same. Jean said. Lola trembled. I'm not selfish, she said. No, but that's how I used to be. Always bragging about joining the military police. Boy, did I make a big decision on joining the scouts instead. I thought it was so stupid. But it wasn't. I learned, I guess I made the right choice. But now I'm wondering if I actually rise above with monsters. Jean said. So then Jean asked again, and Lola accepted. During the night at the city, Lola was having a good time with Jean. They were seeing so many sights, and Jean saw places that he never knew existed.